say with almost complete certainty that this is the last time that we will all be together under the same roof. In a way, this may well be a happy thought, since it signifies that we will soon be moving forward to all the great things lying in wait for us. But at the same time, the thought of leaving behind all of our friends and memories fills me with sadness. In truth, this is a day of many conflicting and seemingly incompatible emotions. How then to look upon such a day? I choose not to look at it as an ending, or even as a stepping stone towards a new beginning. Instead, I choose to look at this moment as a celebration of all that we've achieved together. As a celebration of our growth, not only as students, but as people. Our class has reached great heights, with many of our students having received prestigious awards on the state and national levels, and many of us going forward to some of the most highly selective universities. This, of course, would have been impossible without the constant support of our parents and teachers. And I think that I speak for all of us when I thank them with the utmost sincerity. But most of all, it would have been impossible without each other. Nobody has helped us as much as we've helped each other as companions. We've truly created the sort of environment which best promotes our development, both as scholars and as people. Instead of forming small cliques, we've built one united community at Towson High School. In our class, students are given the opportunity to find their strengths and nurture them, rather than being forced to redefine their character in order to fit in. And I believe that this has made us a diverse group of individuals, rather than a faceless collective. When we first came to Towson High, we all had a goal, to grow emotionally and intellectually, so that no matter what, we would have the strength to face that which lies ahead. I know this. We have managed to accomplish this goal, never being hindered by fear or ignorance. And for that, you have my highest congratulations.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shir Jarabi, and I would like to congratulate you all on successfully completing high school. <laughs> graduating class, I would like to thank everyone responsible for our success. Our principal, Dr. Berenger. Our assistant principals. The teachers, parents, relatives, friends. and Wikipedia. <laughs> our parents have always been at our side when we needed them, believing in us completely and guiding us. They're always ready with band-aids for when we scraped our knees, ready with hugs for when we had nightmares, ready to drive us around to all of our soccer games and music lessons, and ready to give us advice like, Stop making funny faces or else they'll stay that way forever. Obviously, some of us didn't listen, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> For these things and so much more, we thank you. Now, obviously, we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for our teachers. They've poured all of their time and heart into making us well-educated and mature people. They have given up their weekends and free time to grade the lab reports and the essays that we students had pulled all-nighters to write the day before the due date. It's true. <laughs> so thank you, teachers, for teaching us about not only what is written in textbooks, but also for teaching us what to do with that information and how to think. We are incredibly lucky to be here today. Towson High School has given us the perfect environment to learn and to excel. Times of opportunity await us as we move forward with our lives. We must utilize these opportunities that we have to not only benefit ourselves, but our society as a whole. We must give back to our Towson for everything it has given to us. For those of us going off to college, our mothers will have to open their arms and cry. Our fathers will have to open their wallets and cry. <laughs> but all of us are destined to do great things, and I wish you all the best of luck wherever you go and whatever you do. Congratulations. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I can't think of a better place to be on a Saturday afternoon than celebrate with the generals as we congratulate the class of 2013. To our families, this is just as much your day as it is their day. Thank you for the opportunity over the last decade to work with your most prized possession. It is indeed an honor every single day to work with them. To the teachers, to the faculty and staff under the leadership of Jane, you are amazing. And because you are amazing, Towson High School continues to be ranked in the top 9% of high schools across our country. Last but not least, to the graduates of the class of 2013, you've made it. This is indeed your day. But as you leave us, always remember that you have to make us proud. Make everyone around this arena proud by your actions, by your words, and by writing the amazing next chapter of your life. Because commencement actually means the beginning. So what's the next chapter in your life story going to be? Congratulations to each of you, and God bless.
Good afternoon. As president of the Board of Education, I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to go to a number of graduations every spring. But truth be told, this is my favorite. Because 42 years ago, I was where you're sitting, graduating from Towson High School. So it's good to be back home. I know it's already been said, but uh, a lot of you graduates are going to get a lot of congratulations today and over the next couple of weeks. And you really have accomplished some great things. But I know as you found out, you never do it alone. Your parents, your teachers, your friends, and others who have been along there with you and helped you. So let's take a minute and graduates only. Find somebody in the crowd, either up here on stage or out there, who's helped you. And graduates, join me and let's give them a hand. I asked some of your teachers to describe this class, and they told me two different things. One's very obvious by just looking at the program today, and that's we've got an exceptionally bright group of graduates here today. When I look at your honors and the colleges that many of you are going to, and the awards that you're winning, you're, you should make us very proud. And as a Towson High alum, I'm certainly very proud of you, so congratulations. Secondly, Teachers told me that you really are a diverse group, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different interests, and indeed, you're sort of a microcosm, I think, of our society today, and Baltimore County in general. But even though you're very, very different, I understand that you're a tight-knit group, and collegiality and closeness is a word that would describe you. It's always customary to give some advice at a graduation, and my advice to you as you go out into the world Take a look around. The world is a very uncollegial place. Internationally, we have conflict and strife. Even in this country and even locally, people don't seem to get along. Take that spirit that you have here now of getting along with each other out into the world and make it a better place. Congratulations. Good afternoon, class of 2013. We are all very pleased and very proud to be part of this special day. And on your behalf, I would like to acknowledge, welcome, and thank all of those who are assembled here today in celebration of your graduation from Towson High School. So a special thank you to Mr. Lauren Schmidt, our president of the board, Dr. Dallas Dance, superintendent of the Baltimore County Public Schools, Dr. Roger Plunkett, assistant superintendent, Maryland State Delegate Stephen Lafferty, the Honorable David Marks, our district's representative on the Baltimore County Council, parents, friends, our Towson High School faculty, and especially your class advisors, Ms. Rebecca Moyer and Mr. Richard Malloy. A special note, I'd like the audience to know that Mr. Malloy is not in attendance today because, as a member of the Maryland National Guard, he was deployed to Estonia on May 28th. Clearly, our thoughts and thanks are with him. and choral groups under the direction of Mr. David Wren, Mr. John Olin, and Mr. Derek Jackson for providing us with the musical selections which are creating an inspirational atmosphere for this important milestone for the class of 2013. Welcome to Towson High School's 110th graduation ceremony. Ooh. We have so many things to celebrate today, so before we get to the moment you are anxiously awaiting the awarding of the diplomas, I would like to have the opportunity to tell all those assembled here today 